Hi, Fart Faces, it's Bev B. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the laziest digital logbook ever. You can do this on your desktop or you can access this through your phone. I do show the desktop version because I'm always at my computer. Um, if you use the Gems Blow, yes, Gems Blow, Gems Flow app, uh, this is an alternative to it. This is the Lazy Girl's Guide to it. And I usually use a paper logbook as you are seeing on the screen right now but I decided to go digital because I'm a lazy piece of poo. So I was inspired to create this diamond painting logbook online because someone had asked, where do you guys find your logbooks? I actually have a physical logbook. I've had a physical logbook since I started diamond painting, but because I'm so lazy, I never kept up with it. Like I really like there's the Vanessa's handbound and there's just like the information for you guys you would just fill in the information um this one's really cute it's kind of just like there's no real template to it it's kind of when it's decorated it's really sweet um uh, but then I saw this girl's post Tina Westergaard's post on Facebook in the group and she does hers in OneNote OneNote is a Windows app or tool and um basically what it is it looks like she has her it's a di diamond art club logbook and then it's filtered by these these are the keywords and things like that these are the titles of her diamond paintings and then she has the photo of the diamond painting the title up here and then information about the diamond painting including description and a link mine I was like I really want to do something similar to this this is freaking genius and I wrote under her comment oh I like this <clears throat> Oh my god my voice uh so I wrote "Ooh, I like this and then I was like how can I create this so I looked at OneNote and I am not a Windows Microsoft person I really love Google I use Google for work I use it for everything so I was like I'm gonna look at an alternative to OneNote and what came up was Google Keep so this is my Google Keep these are the majority of my Diamond Art Clubs that I've loaded into Google Keep so if you're wondering what's in my Diamond Art Club stash here is a photo. What I basically did was I went to, or here's a video showing <laughs> what's in my stash. I went to my account page, which you can see up here. If you can see me hovering that over here, I went to my account page. I went to my orders and then I went through each order and then I opened up the the diamond paintings. So example, example, fall time, fall time's not in stock. But all I really care about for my log book or my log Google Keep is this stuff. So it's square, here's the size, and then here's colors. But I only really care, care about square and the shape. Um, so what I did was I used this sniping tool. So you should have it. It's called sniping tool. Here's one that I did of Jackalope Junction. But you just go new. And then you drag a box around what you want to take a picture of. And then that automatically copies it to your computer. So you don't have to save it or anything. Then you go to Google Keep. Uh, then we'll go paste. It pastes it in for you. I really like this because then I don't have to save it. And I'm not stuck with all these freaking diamond painting screenshots on my computer. And then I write fall time for this. And then for notes, I use square as a hashtag and I use diamond art club. And then I'll also um, hashtag the, the person's name, the artist's name, Graham Gherkin. I think that's what it says. Gherkin, damn. Ger Graham Gherkin. I thought it was so smart. I think there's a C. Ger Gherkin. Come on. Sometimes it's weird and you have to retype it. Gherkin. There. And so now, if I'm like, I want to do a diamond painting, I want to do a square diamond painting and um, I wonder what I have for Randall Spangler's. So instead of searching through here, which easily I could, because you can see there's Randall Spangler's right here. These are the hashtags that I've been using. So I can actually go to Randall Spangler 
and see these are the Randall Spanglers that I own. Here's square and it, there's a round one as well. Um, if I was like, I just want to do a square kit, I could just come over on the left hand side, click square, and here's all my square kits that I have. And so I've only loaded Diamond Art Club, but I am like, after I'm finished it, I'm on page two of my orders. After I'm finished loading Diamond Art Club, I think I'll do Mary's Diamonds and some other places where I have quite a few diamond paintings from as well, and I'll load them into here. But as you can see, it's sorted by alphabetical order. And then if you ever need to edit your labels, so say you want to delete a label or um, edit what the thing says or the like the writing. So we had that Graham Gherkin and I press Gherchen. So we will hover over it. And then if I wanted to edit it, I could, but then I created the right one. So we'll get rid of this by deleting the label by clicking the trash can. And then here, um, now that is gone from this side. So the misspelled one is gone. So this is a really easy way to do your logbook. You can also use um, like this person, like Tina used, you can use uh, OneNote, you can use Google Keep, you can use Evernote. There's a whole bunch of software online tools that are free that you can use. You can create one like this. You can also use the Gems Flow app, but I'm too lazy for that. So uh, I like doing the, it this way because I feel like this is something I can actually keep up with. You can also create if you're like, okay, size really matters to me, you can actually put in the size as a hashtag or a label. You can put in the number of colors. Um, and again, like I didn't want to, I wanted to do this the easiest way possible, like the minimum viable product pretty much. So all I did was I just took screenshots and then I just added these. So you can be as in-depth as you want to. You can even... Uh, copy the description from the website if you wanted to. You can include the link, but again, I don't care about those things. Also, I want to track kits that I've completed and if I've sold them or I've destashed them. So what I can do for that is we'll use Medusa as an example. For Medusa, I actually destashed this to Lindsay Emeralds and Fairy Lights, so I can just write sold. And then if I want to look at all the kits I've sold, um, I can put them in here. I like keeping all the kits in here if they've come into my possession, even if I've sold them. And then if I've, com I've completed Pink Mermaid, so then all I would do is go completed, which makes it really easy because then it's like, if I want to know if I've completed that kit, I can go to the completed tag and then I can see, hey, I've finished Pink Mermaid. I've done all of these diamond paintings. Uh, what do you guys think of this? How do you guys keep your diamond painting logbook? Let me know in the comments down below. I just wanted to share this with you guys because I know that some people are kind of struggling with keeping up with paper books. And like for me, I just didn't want to use the square sticker that comes with Diamond Art Club boxes or Diamond Art Club kits because I was like, I want to save those stickers for something else. And I also wanted to, um, for other companies, they don't always come with a printout on, of the kit that you have. So they don't come with that square sticker and they don't come with an inventory sheet with the image printed on it. So I was having to print off the images manually and I'm just too lazy for that. So this is how I'm going to track my diamond paintings. Uh, let me know what you guys use and if this video is helpful to you, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I post new videos on an almost daily basis. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Okay, bye!